back to a place where we're treated less than animals. Even here, I'd like to say, it's so easy to get caught up in the uproar and using something like this, our anger, and using it for the negative. I heard that just a few days ago there was a similar event where women were actually fighting with each other. And I just really want to make it clear that the purpose why we all come together is not for that. It's to remember that we all have capabilities. We live in a country where we are able to speak freely, but to use that for the positive. A young woman who is our sister, somebody's daughter, a friend, lost her life to something that was just inexplainable, horrifying, and we can't use all that and use it for the negative. Now is the time to all come together in a collective positive co consciousness and make a difference in the world. This is why you're all here today with us. And I just, I really have no words when I read all the stories about what she had to go through. And it took that for the nation to stand up against something that shouldn't be happening anyways. Yes, we are. And please take the time when you go back here today, every time you see a woman or a girl or anybody being treated less than they should be, all I request is that you take that initiative, step in, and say something. All of this happens because we turn a blind eye towards this behavior, and it starts in our homes. That's where we have the power to make a difference. And that means telling our brothers, telling our sons, telling others, even our own daughters and sisters, how you treat one another. And that's where it starts is in our home. So please take this, take all this pain, this sadness, this hurt, this anger, and empower yourselves and the others around you to treat others with respect. Thank you, and now I'm going to pass it on to Lucky. Um, before I start, I'm actually... Uh, a bit emotional, I'm going to gather my strength tip. So at this time, I'm going to call Councillor Brenda Sori to say a few words on behalf of City of Surrey. Councillor Brenda Sori. Hello, everybody. And on behalf of the City of Surrey, I want to thank both Lucky and Abigail and Global World Power. I want to thank all of you who are gathered here today, but I especially want to thank our brothers. Because one thing we know is that if Jyoti had boarded a bus with good men that day, we would not be here. So thank you to you for standing in our fight. As we move forward, I hate to use the word fight because it is a violent word, but however, it's a word that women are forced to use because as we stand for the victims that we know about, there are hundreds and thousands of, of our sisters, our mothers, and our friends who still suffer in silence on a daily basis, not only with emotional, physical, and financial abuse, but also the abuse of injustices that are served upon them in society. And only the tide will change when we continue to work together, brothers and sisters, hand in hand, to make sure that there is true equality. And the love that we share is both pure and lacking of expectations that have been thrown upon us based upon our gender. So I'm here on behalf of the City of Surrey to serve we work very, very closely with community organizations on our coalition against domestic abuse. I urge you in continuing with us to make sure that next time a Jyoti gets on a bus, she boards a bus with good men, and that we never, ever, ever have to be standing like this again. Thank you very much. We all come here because we are suffering. We are in pain. But how would we process that pain to make a gain? The gain will only happen if the reasons for pain are eradicated. And how would we do that? The only way to do is education, coming together, knowledge of oneself, who I am. We all say we are human beings. I say, we are spiritual being in a human form. So the concept has to change. Once we start living in a spiritual encounter, we will not hurt people. We will not steal. 
we will not abuse, we will not put them through these turmoils, Jyoti, Saint Pande, and many other women are going through all over the world. 28 years and 6 weeks prior to this incident, in 1984, there was turmoil, suffering, fire, little girls, young women, adult married women, even older women were put through sexual abuse. The fire was burning. It was building up, just like a pressure cooker. The pressure was building up. And what you saw in Delhi, the youth, they came to the roads. India is the country where there is the largest amount of intelligent, hardworking, educated youth. Per, uh, if you look at the statistics, the amount of young brain is highest in India. And they are the ones who will bring the change. This is a domino effect, one thing happening after the other. And I'm very optimistic, even though we have lost a very young life, 23 years old physiotherapy student who wanted to do the profession I'm doing, the father who is a loader at airport, merely earning 5,300 rupees a month, that's not even about $100, sold a piece of land in his village to put her through education. So we have to look at all the issues. With Lucky Gill and myself, we've done so many programs about intrauterine demise of the woman at birth, subsequently, and now you can look, rape, torture, gangrene, death. So the status of women all over the world, including third world countries or India, where a lot of us come from, is not good. And, and, and doing these kind of things will impact change. When we want to bring a global peace, like the global girl power together, it has to have a global approach. And we will be able to implement change. Asi jado ikatthe humne, 